Hello, all you magnificent people, Derbo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with the fourth episode of the Fists Only Expert Mode playthrough. Man, I'm excited. I just... We don't need to get into it. We've already been into it too much. Uh, people seem to really be enjoying the series as well, um, and I'm really happy about that. Because, gosh, this is the best. So, things that we're going to be doing in this episode, hopefully taking down the Queen Bee... Maybe even Skeletron, although don't get your hopes up. Um. <laughs> Why did I go so high off that penguin? What the frick was that? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why do I get so much air off of penguins? <laughs> That's amazing. I don't under- I, I get it off anything! If I kill something with my downward strike- Oh, no, no! It's like, exclusively penguins and rabbits! What? Okay. Anyway, yeah. Queen Bee is definitely gonna be going down in this episode. Um, not sure about Skeletron. I'm hoping Skeletron, but you never know. So, I'm actually gonna be trying a bit of a different tactic with the Queen Bee. Um... And that will be, um, fighting it in this arena. And I know the jungle is over there, and my arena is here, but I, I, I think we'll be able to pull it off using a particular trick that uh, I actually learned from Leviathan. I learn a lot of stuff from Leviathan. Dude's good at the game. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go and try that. Hopefully it'll go semi-well, although... Thinking about it, it's it, it's gonna be pretty freaking difficult. Um, because the Queen Bee's AI generally takes her above the player, so I have no idea how this is going to work. Blood out! <laughs> I'm never ever ever gonna get over how dang fun these things are. So, uh, how this tactic works is you throw a sticky bomb. Uh, at the, uh, on, on top of the, uh, the bee thing, the larva, yeah. You throw it on the underside so that the projectile itself doesn't break the larva, and then you teleport home, and then it breaks while you're at home, so then the queen bee spawns next to you. Hopefully, that's how this will go down. Uh, I can't grapple onto it, shoot. Um, here we go. Alright, so, Queen Bee is dead. That was actually... <laughs> that was really interesting. Um, I liked how that went down. I had to actually sort of manipulate the AI and get it to do interesting things in order to 
hit it in certain spots uh, the, when she spawns bees, that's actually a really good opening for attacks. It's almost as if the bosses were designed or with the fists in mind, which isn't a thing, because they weren't. Because this is a mod. But oh my god, this is freaking like, why did that work so well? Why is this mod designed so damn well? What the hell, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> also, the uh, inclusion of the goblins made things slightly more interesting as well. Like, wow, I didn't expect that, but hey, you know what? Frick it, why not? Okay, so we got the Angry Honey Pack. Melee strikes on enemies release honeybees that heal pl- What? What? No freaking way! Oh yeah, we should probably see what we got. Um, we got some stuff. Nothing, nothing too incredible. Beekeeper. Beeswax, which is nice. I think we need that for something else. Good god, goblins. Just get the frick out of here, you dudes. Goblin army's finally dead. Okay. Good gravy, you jags. <laughs> Woo! So much fun! <laughs> Okay, no, we're, we're fighting Skeletron in this episode. No freaking doubt about it. Skeletron is gonna go down. We are gonna wreck his face off. We also got the bee mount, which is, uh, you know, it's something. Chuck Norris riding on a bee, or Guy Manson, sorry. I'm, this isn't no Chuck Norris. Nah, this is Guy Manson. Uh, also, uh, something that my brother pointed out while he was watching the, uh, the I've Cthulhu fight, is there's actually a floating island above my house. That I totally didn't notice at all until he pointed it out. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's a floating island up there, and I totally want to uh, get to it. Go B, go B, yeah B, yeah, awesome. Oh, I forgot we have Spectre boots as well. Cool. How did I forget that? We got the Lucky Horseshoe. Awesome. Um, not gonna equip that, because why not? I'm also gonna make this a house, because we need the house, and it, this is not actually that difficult to access, especially if I uh, let down some ropes from here, which I don't actually have. Oh, yeah, well, I have some. Probably not enough to get all the way down to the bottom. Oh, hey, Pinky. Do me a favor and die! <laughs> awesome. Uh, so somebody will move into there, hopefully, like, someone helpful. I'm really hoping it's the Alchemist, to be honest. Uh, let's definitely put away bombs or anything like that that would attract attention. Also, I like the fact that I literally just got done writing a comment to Neo Selkit because he was like, you should get rid of the Band of Regen because it's really not that great. And I was like, actually, it's pretty great. Um, and I immediately replaced it with the, that honey pack, yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Oh, wait, no, that house is going to go to the goblin because I freed him, right? Yeah, that's how that's going to work. Awesome. I'm actually totally okay with that. Um, cool. Also, we should check if there's anything that we can make with beeswax. I know- Ooh, there's the honeycomb glove! Interesting. Nice to beat you. <laughs> uh, Right-click to parry incoming damage. Counter-Strike grants 60 bonus damage and releases a swarm of bees. Combo increases the strength of friendly bees. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. Give it to me right now. Yes, the honeycomb glove! Ma -na -na -na. Technically, it's uh, it's better than the spike gauntlets, but not as good as the phoenix mark. It's it's okay speed, nice, and parrying is uh, gonna be pretty cool. I like it. It's also nimble, which is nice. Interesting. Actually, that's that's the other thing I was gonna do. I was gonna do a little bit of building. Uh, because I need to do that, and I haven't done any building in a little bit. So, yeah, probably gonna do a little bit more building with uh, these blocks, the dynasty wood and stuff, because they're nice looking. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do, but... Freaking, it's gonna be something.
Okay, that should do it for now. Um, I basically just copied the house, so I don't know if I even left that in as, uh, like, speed up or anything like that. Um, but if I did, great. Um, if I didn't, great. Um, but yeah, that's that. I think it looks fine. I will definitely add more onto it in the future. I plan to build more upward and things of that sort. Uh, this will do for now. That's actually just one extra home because of uh, Mr. Ted here. Yeah, great. Thanks, Ted. Uh, I really want to kill Skeletron, although it is nighttime. So honestly, I planned this very, very poorly. Um, I really wish there were more mods out there that had night changing or time changing things. Like, why is it just Calamity? I think Thorium has one too, but like, seriously, there th th that needs to be a thing. More mods need to have that. I don't understand why that's such a th odd ball thing. Like, it just seems like such an obvious thing. Like, even Cheat Sheet doesn't have a way to change time, as far as I know. It may be a plugin or something, but it doesn't come with base Cheat Sheet. There's no... It's nothing there. It's just... I, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to have, like, a whole bunch of penguins lined up and then just, like, pogo off as many as I can. So you know what? I'm going to buy a bug net and I'm going to make that a thing. I want to see how many penguins I can pogo off of to get just absurd amounts of height. Also, last episode or so, I don't remember exactly, I think it was episode two, uh, somebody left me a list of fist weapons that specifically drop from enemies and can't be crafted and stuff like that, and a little bit of advice here and there for fights and things like that and accessories to go for, uh, and that was very helpful. Thank you. Uh, your name is up here on the screen because I can't remember it offhand because I'm a terrible person. Um, but yeah, there you go. Thanks to this guy for giving me a little bit of advice in this playthrough because apparently he's been going through it himself, either before me or because of me or something. I don't know. But either way, um, I don't know what we're going to do until tomorrow night because friggin' it's just about to be morning. I... I, I planned this really badly, is what I'm saying. Maybe I will just do a bit more building. Well, let's go build the arena. Let's definitely go do that. Come on, Pip. Let's go kick Skeletron's face off. Which shouldn't be too hard, since all he's got is a face. And, oh, I mean, it's pretty big. It'd be hard to hit anything else, if I'm being perfectly honest. Okay, that should do arena rise. Um, gonna need campfires and heart lanterns and stuff like that. I will have to go back to make the heart lanterns, though. Also, the traveling merchant arrived, so I'm gonna have to go check his inventory as well. But for now, just a couple of campfires. Morning, Riley! How do you do? Um, got anything interesting for me? Just got the dynasty stuff, uh, the pressurator, which is, eh, it's interesting, but... Mm, Brick layer, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, frick it. Give him, give, give him both. Uh, is there anything I can reforge? Frick, I should probably do the reforging and stuff before I get going. Uh, let's reforge this. Yeah, this isn't too ruthless. Mm. Ooh, dude, reforges actually have like negations to combo costs and stuff like that. I never noticed that. Well, we're gonna go with that then. Um, interesting. That's really, really cool. Oh, these can get legendary now. Interesting. I didn't know that. That must have been an update, because the wiki did, the wiki said that these couldn't get... Uh, the wiki said that the fist weapons couldn't get legendary. That's amazing that they can. Oh, oh that makes me so happy. Okay, cool. Um, well, now we have a legendary phoenix mark and a dangerous honeycomb glove. All right, it's nighttime. I can put it off no longer.
Holy crap! I've done it! Skeletron is dead! Holy framp! That was not as hard as I had thought, but dang, that was fun! Okay, so, we got a couple of things from him. Got some stuff. We got another torn note, which I'm, I decided I'm not actually going to read these, because the, the English is not great in them. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's... it's, it's eh. I'm not going to be reading them anymore. So that one that was a one-time thing. But anyway, yeah, we got this. The Light Phalanx. Right-click to dash through enemies. Awesome. Uh, dash grants 30% increased melee damage. Summons combo summons a backup skeleton. Need a hand? What the heck? What is, how, what is the combo? Combo is 12. Okay. Well, interesting. There we go. I'm going to try this out in the dungeon because it's dungeon time, boys. Oh, I forgot to switch the music back to the pre hard mode version. Oh, well. That'll be fine. Whatever. Music's music. Oh, yeah, dude! We got us a little skeleton! Look at him! We got a skeleton following us around! What is this?! Oh, that's so cool! He's like a little one-hit little skeleton. That is so freaking cool! Also, we got two keys already. That's phenomenal. This is going to be a very short dungeon run, I hope. What with reduced grinding and all. Hey, here's the mechanic already. Fantastic. Give me that. Uh, awesome. Got the uh, the Maramasa. Uh, is that a material? It is a material. I can't remember what it's made into. Oh, yeah. The Enchanted Sword and Ice Edge and stuff like that. Of course. How could I have forgotten? Frick you, Dart Trap. So this is a really interesting weapon. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. What, why are you tied up again? I just rescued you. Uh... <laughs> What? <laughs> Holy crap! I is that a thing? I've never seen this before. Okay, I gotta take a screenshot of this. I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. Two mechanics for some reason. Weird. Skeletron in episode four? I, like we usually have like the Eye of Cthulhu dead on episode four, if I remember correctly. So, man, we are moving fast, but. I'm happy about it. This may be a really short series, thinking about it, but... Frick, I am totally okay with that. Give me your keys, boys! I don't actually know if there is a dungeon fist. Like, I know there is one, but I don't know if I craft it or if I have to find it in a chest or what. Uh, I should probably check that out, actually. So, I would assume it's made with bones? Probably? Maybe? Uh, the prize fighter helmet is the next thing. We need black thread, though. How do you get black thread? I've never seen that before. Uh, we probably buy it from the clother. That's... Yeah, I bet that's what we do. Another freaking goblin army? Piss off, guys! Okay, so, uh, how many bones do we need for that? Just 20. And is there anything else we can make with them? There's a bone whip. And mechanical skulls. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing else. Um, where do we get that other fist, though? Pretty sure it's craftable, right? Cerulean Claws? Yeah, okay, so spikes, two water candles, and a golden key. So we actually have to get a golden key and keep it. Okay, well, that's fine. We don't really need any- Oh yeah, we need the Cobalt Shield and the, uh... I don't think we need the Shadow Key, do we? Probably don't need the Shadow Key. Also, get boxed, boys! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, I would definitely like the Cobalt Shield. That would be incredibly useful. I don't know where we'd put it. Cobalt shield, please. That's all I need, and then I'll get the frick out of here. Blue moon? Dang it. Dang it. Okay, so there's no actual way to make a cobalt shield, unfortunately. I may have to cheat one in, because at this point, like, I've got ev everything else I need. Uh, I don't want the shadow key, because it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I think I'm just going to head home, probably build another house for some other NPC to move in that I really don't care about, uh, like the mechanic. Honestly, I just need to do a lot of building at the moment. I need the Alchemist NPC, I'm gonna need the Clother in order to get the next helmet. Um, I just need a lot of things. Oh god dang it, I forgot about the goblins! Frick off, you jags! What the hell, you guys? Like, why? This is the third invasion! I, I, I literally am punching you guys to death! This should not... you, you shouldn't be here! Okay, Cerulean Claws. Gimme those shiz. Right click consumes combo to unleash a flurry of strikes. That sounds freaking amazing. What's the combo count? Ah, uh, the arms dealer died. Okay, combo. And then once it's built up, you can right click. Oh my god, that is so freaking cool. You can just build up a combo, and then once it's built up. <laughs> 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Wah! 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 <laughs> Can I like... Oh my god! That's amazing! I love this weapon! Holy crambo. Holy cram. <laughs> Goblin army's dead. You bet your fanny they're dead. These scumbags ain't gonna come back ever again after this. Freaking Wolverine on them freaking fricks. I, I, look, I'm not good at comebacks or anything like that. Don't, don't put that on me. But we done it. We gotta go build the demon fist though, because... Well, we, we, we kind of need it. Even though it's probably not as fun as the Cerulean Claws, it, we have to. It's the next thing. The Demon Hand actually does uh, just as much damage, but here's the thing. Okay, right-click to dash or consume combo to steal life from enemies. Combo grants increase melee damage at the cost of defense. Interesting. Make... Might makes right. Huh. I'm interested to see how this works. So I'm assuming as you build up combo, you actually lose defense? Well, my defense isn't going down. Did I steal any health from that? I don't know if I did. No, I don't think I'm actually going to steal any health until... I actually hit an enemy, or I need health. Damage dealt increased by 15%, damage received increased by 7%. Okay, so it doesn't actually lower your defense, you just take a little bit more defense. You just take a little bit more damage. But you are able to, yeah, have the life-stealing effect, which I don't know how effective it is, but it, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, how's the uppercut? Holy cram, it's amazing! Woo! That is even better than the Phoenix thing. It's- I love it. Oh, it's not a- Oh. It's not a material. I was hoping there would be a, a true demon hand. Weapon out- Dude, I don't remember who developed this, but you need to update this mod, and you need to add true fists and pillar fists and a moon fist. Like, oh my goodness, make that a thing, please. Please, I'm begging you, my dude. I want it to be a thing so bad. So bad. Oh, frick off! I just realized that having two mechanics, they're gonna take up two houses. I'm gonna end this episode here, do some building off camera. So, that is going to do it for the fourth episode of the Expert Fists Only playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a magnificent day. Derbo the Magnificent out. Woo!